welcome again to our rogori class series and moving forward with kikevo we will be looking at the anatomy of the male reproductive system as we had said kikevo is all about circumcision and it's important we look at the structure of the male reproductive system as we know the male reproductive system is the one that undergoes circumcision with an aim of making it sexually uh, efficient in terms of hygiene and also sex for young children we will have to teach them that as they go through the process of initiation what is expected of them and even to discuss with them about their own physical uh, body uh, nature so that uh, the process is part of them they don't look at it as a very strange now in urugori the whole system has its own names and it will be important if we looked at the names of the male reproductive system so that gives us understanding of what this all is about looking at it this is cross-sectional the person is standing this way and this is the male reproductive system here we have the penis we have the testicle we have the gallbladder and that we should name them in urugori and we will start by this this one here is called kidore kidore is an circumcised penis it looks like this it means that it has sheath on sheath on the foreskin the foreskin is on in rugori we will call it rigodo rigodo that it has its sheath on the foreskin is still intact now with the foreskin still intact there is the the tube that goes down that releases both sperms and urine and this sheath in rugori it's called enduhu enduhu meaning the outry the passage with that we have the testicle and rugori it is known as irinege rinege plural manege because they're always in pairs manege we'll have to prefix these with the ma when there are two and plural now towards that point it will also be important to note about the the bladder because this is where urine stays and it is one of the things emitted here at Endoho. this bladder in rugori is known as risuman or risuman risuman it is where the urine is held before it comes and gets emitted out so these parts are basically those that we know or the few in the outer understanding of a normal and circumcised boy a normal and circumcised boy uh, here we also have uh, the outer cover of the testicle it is also called engobore engobore 
Engobore. Engobore is the is what covers uh the testicle. It is from the word kobora. Kobora means like you can remove or it is covering that way. This position of the testicle is known as kugona to sleep. Kugona to sleep. It is the position of the penis at this point. Every other time it is seen as looking down. Sometimes it does erect and form kind of uh, that way. When it does that way, we call it kutengera. Kutengera. Or kutengera. Others would wish kutengela when the penis is in an upright position. It happens mostly to boys during early hours of the morning. Uh, there is a process that sometimes in cleaning this penis when it is still covered with the foreskin and it is called kufinora. Finora. Maybe if you wrote it here. Finora. Kufinora. The process of getting back the foreskin so that you can clean on it. Finora. Here. Now, when it underwent a cut and uh, the foreskin is removed, it will develop this kind of uh, this kind of uh, to look like this rather look like this now when it is circumcised and the foreskin is removed and the head kind of enlarges a little bit this part ceases from being rigodo to being envy this one will now start being envy from the word mutui head envy now that it is bare it has no foreskin it will be now called envy and because now it is also circumcised it is no longer uncircumcised it is not known as kidore it is now known as indini it is now known as a indini indini this way i'll write it here a indini indini if there are many zindini a z noun class indini that is a circumcised male uh, penis and in zindini uh this is briefly what it is all about the common name for a penis whether circumcised or not it is known as kidede whether circumcised or not it is known as kidede kidede this part the circumcision now in the penis much as uh, the bladder emits urine which is minari urine is minari that's urine minari that's what we emit outside the gall bladder emits urine but the testicle emits Spams, rather, that's what comes out. It is known as Wadogodoko. What is emitted here is known as Wo Lo Go Lo Wadogodoko is what comes when it's it's upright like this, and then it will be emitted there. Now, the purpose of Vologodokom is for reproduction and all that. So it is important for 
us as we uh, start the process of educating our teenage young sons on this that they do understand their physical male part so that it doesn't come to them as a shock neither as something so interesting outside of this world it's just a normal thing a normal physical structure that they should just learn about look at and understand thank you for listening and stay tuned for more lessons bye